If you have watched my previous video where I talk about all the resources which I used to prepare for the INICT exam, one of the resources which I mentioned was Anki. Now, Anki is an open source application used to make flashcards. Initially, it was very popular among people learning new languages and then it expanded and it became very popular among medical students, especially of Europe and North America. In fact, I discovered Anki while I was preparing for the USMLE exam. I loved it. And then I eventually when I had to prepare for the Indian post graduation exams, I used Anki. I created my own deck and that helped me to secure an All India rank of 5. So why do you want to use Anki? Because revising from notes is hard. For example, let's say this is one of the image in your notes. Um, in fact, it is a Google image about superior orbital fissure. And you have to remember what what content what are the contents of superior orbital fissure, what structures go outside the common tenderness ring, and what structures go inside the common tenderness ring. And when you're revising this diagram, the only way you can be sure that you know this diagram is to redraw it again and again and remember what labels you have forgotten each time and make a note of it when you try to revise it the next time. Now it is a tedious process. Of course, a time-consuming process too. So while I was preparing for the INICT exam, when I had to uh, remember this diagram, I made flashcards for this diagram. So these are my flashcards. What nerve in the superior orbital fissure lies outside the common tenderness ring? And these are the blanks, which I have to recall when I am reviewing the flashcards. Now this is another card, superior and inferior thalmic vein lie outside or inside the common tenderness ring? And the answer is in outside the common tenderness ring. And then which nerves go through common tenderness ring and the answer is abducens and then there will be another card which will blank out the nasociliary nerve and of course then there will be another card which will blank out the oculomotor nerve. So Anki does two things active recall and space repetition. And what do you mean by active recall? Well instead of passively reading through the book Anki will actively test your knowledge by asking you questions and that will reinforce your memory because you have to actively think. And that's what you do in the real exam. It will ask you, the exam will ask you questions and at that time you will have to actively think. And then Anki does spaced repetition. And what do you mean by spaced repetition? Well, Anki has its own algorithm according to which it will present you the information at specific intervals. And those intervals will be different for each card depending on whether you found the card hard, easy or you had completely forgotten that card. So for example, this is one of your cards and it is about the methods of precipitation of proteins and there are six methods of protein precipitation and you have to remember all six of them because it is a recent um, it is an INICT exam question and it has been asked multiple times and if you notice at the bottom of the card there is an option to show the answer and this is how Anki will look like when you are reviewing your flashcards so when you click on the show answer or you click the spacebar which is the default button to show the answer Anki will ask you whether you found the card as very hard or whether you had completely forgotten the card in which case you will press the again button or it is a routine card for which you will press the good button and the intervals for each of the buttons is shown here. Now when you are seeing the card for the first time the intervals will be very short for instance 30 minutes for the again button and just one day for the good button and when you are when you have reviewed these cards at specific intervals for a couple of times the intervals will start increasing for example um, in this card the intervals have increased to 2.2 months for the good button and eventually when you have revised this card a couple of times the intervals will increase to let's say 4 months for the good in good button so so this is how Anki works and also you can notice that for a single concept that is the methods of protein precipitation I've created 6 flashcards so that means that I have broken down a huge chunk of information into smaller pieces which are easy to digest and recall in the real exam. So this is how Anki works. If you like the idea of Anki, you can go to ankiweb.net and download and install Anki. When you have installed Anki, it will look something like this. So at this point, I would like you to just play around with Anki, learn how to create new cards, learn how to create new decks, maybe watch other YouTube videos. There are a ton of videos about Anki. Just watch them to be familiar with Anki. And once you think that you are familiar with Anki, you can actually download my collection. During the preparation, I made my own flashcards uh, and that helped me a lot. And I've spent a lot of hours into making these flashcards and you can find the download link in the description. So you have to click on the file, you have to click on the file and then click on the import button 
and then it, you it, you have to go to where you have downloaded the collection and select the collection click on open and it will start processing and when it is all done it, it will look like this now then you have to press on the plus button which is in the front of the iyanki deck by the way um, i've named the deck as iyanki so, uh, referring to indian version of the anki there are multiple decks which pertain to the USML stuff so i decided to share my deck which is about the indian post graduation exams so you have to click on the plus button and it will expand this deck and you can see all the sub decks which are um, within this mother deck so at this point you have to click on the sync button and it, it will ask you to create an account do create an account so that your progress is synced across your different devices and even if you happen to lose a device your progress will still be saved so anki is available for windows android mac os and ios so for windows and and android the version is free but for the apple stuff you have to purchase it it's a one time payment of 2199 but when you have to download anki be wary that you download the original version there are a lot of local likes and i told one of my friends to download anki and she happened to install this app anki app now this is actually an app for which you have to pay money it's not a free app and don't fall into the trouble of you know purchasing these apps just download the original anki now as i told you i have spent a lot of hours into making these flash cards so just so that you have some confidence in these cards if, if you are trying to use these cards these are some of the questions which were asked in the recent INICT exam which were there from which were directly from my cards so there was a question about counter current mechanism and this was from my cards and it was actually an aims previous year question then there was another aims previous year question which was about this diagram and this diagram is actually from the guidance and also a previous year aims question so i actually had to edit this diagram to make this card and it took a lot of time actually and i created not one but two cards out of this concept and i'm glad that this was asked in the INICT exam then there was another question about which viral hemorrhagic fever is an emerging healthcare problem and the answer is crimean congo fever then there was another question about which clotting factor is not increased in pregnancy and the answer was factor 11 and factor 13 then there was another question out of lithium lithium and valproate valproate has a higher risk of malformations and this was not an, not an aims previous year question but it was actually from the um, i got this flash card from the um, from the question bank of usml step 3 it's called uworld and it was directly from that and this question all the clotting factors which are not increased in pregnancy i'm not sure about the source of this question i've not put it in the on the, in the deck of the aims previous years so it it must have been um a question that was asked in some grant test or something like that then there was another question about primary contractures and in the primary contractures are more with full thickness graft and not with split thickness graft and this was from the teachings of dr rohan kandelwal and i created not one but two flash cards out of this concept then there were a question there was one there was one question about the surgeries for rectal prolapse by perineal approach and this was also from my flash cards and i have three flash cards for this concept and this is actually a previous year neat question as well now then there was question about the h nana a statement which was previous year aims question and also from my from my deck then there were multiple there then there was one question about hepatitis b serology and i have multiple such questions in the in the in the deck so as you can see that i have multiple flash cards for each concept and although the volume of the flash cards would increase by by this approach so i have like 18000 flash cards but the actual concepts tested are fewer but then breaking down information into smaller chunks increases the retention so as i said there are 18000 cards and you might be knowing many of them so you have to learn how to suspend the cards which you already know for example let's say this is one of the cards which were which were doing and it asks about the action of the intrinsic muscle of the eye so for example let's say that you remember the action of superior oblique muscle so you might want to suspend this card so you have to click at the bottom of the card it's called the more option and then you have to click on the suspend the card and then the card which was about the superior superior oblique muscle will will disappear 
and let's say that you remember all six the action of the all, all of the six of the muscles then you can actually suspend the note so again you have to go to the more option click on suspend note right here and then the card will disappear or the action of all six of the muscles will disappear and then you will have the next card and unless you suspend unsuspend the card you will not see this card again so as you could see there were a lot of questions of uh, there were a lot of previous year questions that was asked in this year's in this year's aims exam and this is a common pattern that aims is notorious for asking previous year questions for example when i was doing the um inict november 2021 session i found that there were so many repeats from the 2015 session so i thought that in this year they would either have questions from 2015 or 16 or maybe 17 and actually they had a lot of questions from um, repeat questions from the 2016 session this year in fact a lot of questions which i showed you the previous year questions a lot of them were from the uh, 2016 session now if you are if you have watched my previous video and are using sketchy pathoma or first aid the flashcards of those are not in my deck because there are already better decks out there for these resources for that you have to go to reddit and oh, go to the subreddit called as Medical School Anki. Just go to Reddit and type in Medical School Anki. And then scroll through the page. Go to the right hand sec on the right hand section, you would find the all, all the decks for these uh, for these resources. For example, in these step one resources, there is one resource called as Zanki. And the Blue Galaxy Zanki collection has uh, flashcards of all the basic sciences subjects and the deck of the pathology is is based entirely of the pathoma so if you want to revise pathoma you can download this collection and do pathology out of this deck and if you want to uh, revise from sketchy you can use these resources and if you can uh, if you want if you are using if you are using pixarize you can download any of these decks and of course all of these decks are free of cost and have been shared by medical students. Now there are some of the add-ons which you can use in Anki application and for that let me show you my how my Anki looks like. So this is how my Anki looks like. So this is your iAnki collection. Just just ignore all of the rest of the decks. So when you expand iAnki you can see all of the decks and if you go scroll all the way down you'll see um, an, an add-on which is called as review heat map. Um, so as you can see, it it shows me how many days I have prepared and how many flashcards I have done on each each of the days. So as you can see, I started preparing on 15th of March for this INICT exam, and the INICT exam was on 8th of May. And even on 7th of May, I had I did like 1,783 cards, which is a lot of cards. So I was pretty consistent with Anki, as you can see. And this is the key to success with Anki. You have to be very consistent with Anki. For example, I did not do much of the cards since I got my results. And since then the cards have been piling up and now I have about uh, 10,000 cards to review. And that would be a lot of burden for me. So you have to be very consistent with Anki so that your numbers don't reach to this extent that it becomes a burden. At this point, I would also like you to show some, I would like you to show to some of the settings of the Anki. So these are the settings of the Anki. So by default, the settings are somewhat different, but I have, I, you know, I, I, I use some of the settings which I adapted from the, uh, US, uh, from the YouTube videos. So this is the setting, this is my settings for the decks which require intense cramming, for example, the dermatology deck. And then some, for some of the easier decks, I use these settings. Um, I think it, it would be a bit overwhelming if I start explaining all of these settings. You must watch some of the other of the YouTube videos which explain these settings in particular in detail. So let's head back to the presentation. So these are some of the other add-ons which I have been using. You can just make a note of that and just search it on YouTube. There will be videos on each of them and it will help you to, and if you find anything of help, that would be great for you. Now these were my settings. Now tips while using Anki. Do not review too many cards in one day. Otherwise there will be so many reviews the next day that Anki will seem to be a burden. And review all the cards that Anki tells you to review, otherwise the reviews will keep on piling up. So that's all I had to say. Just make sure that you do Anki thoroughly.
and if you tend to intend to use my collection feel free to use it in any way you can edit it you can add new cards you can do whatever you want with the deck and as you can see there were a lot of questions that were asked in the um, INICT exam that were from my cards and the cards which I showed were just up from the from uh, just off the top of my head there must have been a lot of other cards which were the which were direct repeats from the from the deck so i hope that if you use the deck it will surely help you that's all good luck with anki it should be fun